Hello again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans. Welcome to Pokemon Box Daily, day number 12, with a Thursday throwdown with XY Evolutions. So we'll crack this box open, and if you're not familiar, on the Thursday throwdown, we will first sort these uh, packs by pack art, and uh, then we will see what pack arts give us what pulls, and uh, we'll have you guys vote via the iCard poll at the end uh, which pack art you think may have given us the best pulls in this Thursday throwdown. So, if I remember this time, let's speed up the video here while I sort the packs out. Alright, you may have seen some shuffling around there at the end. I noticed uh, the stacks didn't match up. We actually have 10 Mega Venusaur pack arts, 9 of Blastoise, 9 of Raichu, and 8 Charizard packs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, uh, this one's going to be a little bit of an unfair fight because you don't have equal distribution of the pack arts. Uh, something that will definitely kind of play uh, when Sun and Moon Basic comes out, as that set actually has 5 different pack arts. And uh, 5 is not uh, divisible by. Or, 36 is not divisible by 5, so we will not be able to have a perfect distribution of pack arts from that set, you know, ever. But uh, let's see how this goes. Start off with the Charizard pack arts. We got Pokedex, Devolution Spray, Megmar, Drowsy Reverse, and the non hollow Mewtwo. Uh, I really want that in the nostalgic foil treatment of base set, but oh well. Maybe they can make another Mewtwo EX box or a GX box or something and give us that Mewtwo with the old foil treatment, like the jungle uh, Snorlax we got, kind of like that sort of thing, but probably not going to happen. Probably not going to happen, but hey, one, one can hope, one can dream. We got a ball. We got a ball. I'm not going to keep track of all the balls in this opening, uh, mainly because we're not looking at the commons anyway, and I don't want to feel the need to like dig through those, but uh, yeah. If you want to join the ball fun, uh, make sure to follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Poke Capital. Hollow Clefairy there. Um, and, and then we have a bunch of ball parties, pretty much. Uh, we, we have officially begun a collection of balls in our PTCGO account. Uh, last stream we did, we got a lot of balls via trades. Uh, I'm sorry I forgot what your username was, but somebody sent us like 250, I think, Voltorbs and Electrodes, at least. Maybe more. The system was being weird, like, we accepted the trades, and then they didn't, like, go away for a while, so... I'm not exactly positive how many we ended up getting from that one person, but... I'm pretty sure it was at least 250 balls. And, uh, we're also collecting Phoebus on there as well. Um, uh, we're getting close to having 200 copies of Phoebus from Primal Clash and from Flashfire. And also getting close... Oh, another Mewtwo. Also getting close to having 200 of the same Voltorb, so... Uh... The, the race is on to see which of those we can get 200 copies of first. And the Ultra Dream, I, I'd love to have at least a thousand copies of Phoebus, of a single Phoebus on there. That'd be the dream. Maintenance Reverse! And a Charizard EX from the Mega Charizard Pack Art. Win Attack and Combustion Blast. Alright. Uh, so that's... We're right on pace. We've got two foils out of six packs. Uh, nothing game-breaking, game-changing, whatever you want to say. Uh, so... That looks like the disadvantaged Charizard with just eight packs. Probably not going to pull through as our victor here, but you never know. Reverse Gyarados, not bad. And Eradicate. So, last pack here of the Mega Charizard pack arts. Three and two. And we've got Mrs. Determination, Cuffing, Flying Pikachu, Secret Rare, Machop Reverse, and an RK9. So, let's quickly get all the. Uh, surplus here to the back and uh the spoils here for charizard for those that vote at the end that's what charizard gave us a flying pikachu reverse rare gyarados a clefairy and a charizard ex uh, i hope that's not the best pull it's from a single pack art because if it is it's gonna be a very bad box but you know we'll see what happens we'll see what happens so i uh, probably won't show those again at the end so that is what the charizard pack arts gave us Alright, now on to the Raichu pack arts. We now have nine packs, so a little bit more chance of getting extra good stuff here than we did Charizard with just the eight. Kind of unusual that we didn't get the equal amount, but obviously it can happen. It did happen. 
A reverse water energy, good way to start. And a Starmie is not too bad either. As far as the non hollow rares go, at least. It is a card that finds its way into some decks, at least. So at least it's, you know, not a wasted rare. Still, of course, rather be, you know, something of shiny nature, but uh, obviously we're not going to have that happen in every pack, unless you count the reverse hollow, of course. Charizard Spear Link, Onyx Reverse, and a Magneton Hollow Rare with Thunder Wave and Self Destruct. So arguably there, ride two packs off to a two for two start. Uh, but it's gonna have to find some ultra rares here. There's a Voltorb. Th that's a good start, good start. That doesn't count as you know being three for three right away, but you know. Switch, maintenance, Brock's grit, Renata reverse, actually not too bad either, and Arcanine. I'm not gonna put that in like the good pile, but that just since Rattata does see some play as a splash, and Raticate's seeing play as well, which by default makes that Rattata see extra play. Um, it's always good to get reverse hollows of cards that find their ways into decks. Uh, cards like Vesoquen and Vileplume in Ancient Origins, they're not expensive cards, but uh, since they do see competitive play, um, if you give them in reverse, that is extra good. And I'll put that Neocane up there since it's normally a hollow rare. Um, not keeping all the reverse rares in like the good pile, but if it's a card that's normally a hollow rare, uh, then I'll put it up there because it's, you know, it's worth knowing, I think. Worth noting. Switch! Blastoise Spirit Link! Pidgeot Spirit Link, Venusaur Spirit Link Reverse, and a Venusaur EX. All right. So we've got two of the three starters so far, as there are only two Ultra Rares. Uh, didn't come in the Venusaur packs like the Charizard did, but all good, all good. So, uh, this the Raichu packs basically match now, in my opinion, the Charizard packs. And we got several packs left, so um, if you change that to a, a Secret Rare, that's basically the same, unless you, you know, you put a lot extra value in the Charizard over the Venusaur and the Clefairy over the Magneton, etc. But as far as, you know, straight up rarity of pulls go, right now the two are pretty much equal. And including the pack around, we've got four packs left here for Raichu. Metapod, Venusaur Spear Link, Mingmar, Point Tower Reverse, and a ball. Gotta get all of them balls. Alright, three, two. Still looking for our first full art. Uh, I'm sure we'll find one. Lily Pad Mew, nice. And a Beedrill. So that, that puts, uh, in my opinion, puts Raichu over the top of Charizard officially now. And uh, without spoiling too much, uh, this should really seal the deal. Surfing Pikachu, Secret Rare, Megmar. Here comes Team Rocket, so two Secret Rares, one pack. A Reverse Diglett, and a Mewtwo EX. Not bad at all. Two Secret Rares and an EX. So yeah, uh, that puts Raichu, I, I think, uh, undoubtedly in the lead so far uh, over Charizard. But unless we get a full art in this last Raichu pack, uh, still I think Raichu can be dethroned because if we get a good full art and some other stuff for support, uh, well, uh, that, that'll probably do it. Well, Nine Tails break. Trying to add to the fodder here. And a Doug Trio. So Raichu. Uh, again, no full arts, but still pretty strong here for Raichu. Let me just get those packs out of the way. So for Raichu, do 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 do, we got some some good stuff here. So two EXs, a break, a Hollow Rare, a Reverse Energy, two Reverse Rares or normally Hollow Rares, and two Secret Rares. So lots and lots of stuff worthwhile there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine cards worth noting, in my opinion, from nine packs. And uh, that's not including the reverse rat how we got, or the uh, non hollow rare Starmie, which, and they're not like expensive, valuable pulls, but they're still cards that are you know, nice to pull. They're nice to pull. All right, on to the Blastoise pack art. Will Blastoise be packing the full arts? Or uh, is Venus? We're gonna hog them all with its 10 packs of just mass, so, you know. All the extra chances of getting the good stuff. Imakuni's Doe Duo, Seeker Rare, Reverse, Pikachu, and a Farfetch'd. But again, unfair fight, eight to nine to nine to 10. So Venusaur, uh, if you're betting at the start of the video or you know, whatever, uh, obviously Venusaur would be you know the, the most favorable choice just because of the amount of packs. Uh, but yeah, uh, but we're, we're not betting on this channel, so you know. That, that's that's kind of irrelevant. But anyways, Charmeleon, Super Potion, Double, Colorless Energy, 
Professor Oak's Hint Reverse, and another Charizard E X. Now I can't, I don't know for sure uh, if we done it before, uh, but anytime you get two of the same Ultra Rare in the same box, it's fairly uncommon. I'll, although I have noticed it more recently, I know in uh, was it Fates Collide? Is that the set that Genesect in? When we opened a single box of that, we got uh, two full art Genesect DXs in the same box. And then we opened a booster case of the set, and we got no full art Genesect. So it, it was really funny, uh, but it was kind of nice because that was the only full art we didn't get in the case. But we got two in our single booster box, so it all worked out. But still, uh, Charge Art is good and all. Obviously, don't get me wrong. Always nice full Charge Art and shiny energies as well, and a Beedrill. Uh, but still, always nice to get the variety as well. Especially if you're, you know, someone who can only afford, you know, a single box on rare occasion. You probably want to get, you know, a wider variety of cards. Especially if you're a collector. Now, if you're a player, it, it may be arguably better to get multiples of the same EX in a box. Because if you're trying to build a deck and use those cards, then you're going to want multiple copies. Because it's a lot easier to build a deck with, you know, two Charizard EXs than it is to build a deck with one Charizard EX and one Venusaur EX or one Blastoise EX or whatever other EX you may name. So... So it can be good and bad. It depends on uh, what your uh, goals are when you're opening. Like I said, if you're a collector, you definitely want as much variety as possible. Reverse rare chance, you normally a hollow and a hollow polyrath. So double rare goodness there in that pack. Very nice. And uh, my, my pile management there for the good stuff is uh, pretty lackluster, pretty lackluster. But anyways, three and two. Potion, Pokedex, Poliwhirl, Psychic Energy Reverse. And a Dugon. It's our third hollow energy of the box. Well, I mentioned earlier, I just want to mention again, uh, twitch.tv slash Capital. Our next stream will be today at 6 p.m. Eastern. And again, every 100 followers we get on Twitch, uh, we give away a PTGO code uh, for the Battle Arena deck, which give you guys, or the winner, a um, double colors energy reverse. Very nice. And a Starmie. Uh, gives the winner a lot of playable cards to use on PTGO. Gives you four Professor Sycamore, four Ultra Balls, uh, two Ends, two Versus Seekers, and Octillery. Just lots and lots of good stuff. So, and we also give away one every stream besides. So, yeah, if in a stream we go, we gain 200 followers, then we're going to give away three of those codes in that stream. But uh, I'll be surprised if we gain that many followers in one stream. But anyways, this is the last pack, by the way, of the uh, Blastoise pack arts. We got two Switch, one pack, and a Hollow Nidokane. So. A lot happened in the Blastoise packs, I'd say, um, but still, no full arts. So maybe it'll prove to be a blessing here that we have more Venusaur pack arts, because uh, maybe at least in this instance, just only Venusaur can have the full arts or something. Who knows? But uh, we got a Seeker Rare and a Reverse Rare. We got three Hollow Energies, including Double Colorless. So that's pretty strong right there. And then we got a Hollow Nidokane, a Hollow Polyrath, and it's Charizard EX. So pretty strong there. Uh, just give you guys a quick glance here at what the riot you had again to quickly refresh your memory. Uh, we'll probably do it now at the end of the video just to reward you guys are actually watching through the video. So that's what you got compared to. Uh, uh, it depends how much you guys value the uh, hollow energy, I guess. I'm not gonna try to play votes though, but uh, if you vote for Charizard, I think you're kind of silly because uh, well, we got Charizard X in the Blastoise pack cards too, with a lot more additional stuff than we did in the uh, Charizard pack. So, you know, vote Charizard pack card if you really want to, but in my opinion, it's a wasted vote. But hey, to each their own. To each their own. On to the Mega Venusaur pack cards, Pidgeot Spirit Link Reverse, and a Pidgeot EX. So, Venusaur EX is coming out swinging right away with an EX in the first pack, its very first opportunity. That's going to put the pack card there right away. And uh, keep on going here. Well, that one has one stamp. But we'll try the, we'll try a different one. We'll try a different one. Uh, I'll try to open one more carefully that stands up more nicely, more pretty. Gotta be pretty. Metapod, Pidgeot, Spirit Link again, Porygon, Energy Retrieval Reverse, and our Eradicate, which is trying to see some play. Trying to see some play. I've seen a lot of uh, streamers on Twitch, yeah, Ryan Eradicate decks lately. So seems to be a popular deck, especially on streams. Bilingual Executor Seeker Rare. I think that's our fifth Seeker Rare of the box. I think we've gotten one of every Seeker Rare in the box. So that's pretty dandy. Maintenance, Coughing, Nine Tails Reverse Rare, and a Doug Trio. Nine Tails, normally a Hollow Rare. 
So we put that in the, you know, pile that is worth recapping up there. Well, one of the piles of those cards. Professor Oak's Hint, Metapod, Potion, Star You Reverse, and I'm a Champ Hollow Air with the Counter Attack ability and Seismic Toss Attack. Three and two. Charmeleon, Kakuna, Coughing, Machamp Break to go with that Machamp Hollow, and a Doug Trio. Boomerang Lyric, 100 damage during your next turn. This Pokemon's attacks do 100 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. All right. So we got like all the rarities here, except for full art still. Uh, so far here in the Mega Venusaur pack art, uh, we've got one secret rare, one reverse rare, that's normally a hollow, one hollow rare, one break, and one regular art EX. Still though, zero full arts from the box, reverse rare polyrath there, and eradicate. Are we gonna get like two full arts in the last two packs or something crazy here? I mean, we can't have a box of evolutions and get no full arts. I mean, we could, but we can't, right? Right? Slow Ball Spear Link, Nidorino, Voltorb, Reverse Ball, and there we go, we got ourselves a full art. Misty's Determination, the shiny shine that shines so bright. Uh, the unfortunate thing is the card has come down in value a lot since it first came out. If I remember right, like during pre-releases, I think that was going for like 20, maybe $30. Now, well, it's a lot less, it's a lot less. Again, I try to avoid saying prices in videos because they do change a lot. If someone watches this video a year from now, uh, I could sound like I'm crazy because the number I put to a card, because it could be very, very different at that point. So, I, I since I can't, you know, edit what I said in the videos after the fact, and uh, values are always changing, I always try to avoid, uh, for the most part, saying values in videos. So, uh, when the video is happening, I compare some cards to each other, like the Charizard is probably worth a little bit more than the Venusaur, just because it's Charizard, which will probably always be true unless Venusaur becomes very, very playable at some point. But, anyways, reverse rare Beedrill, not normally a hollow, so we won't put that in the good pile, and a Dugon. And just like that, Last pack, last chance for glory. Can we end on a high note? Can we get two full arts in the last, what, three packs? Go show the commons here as well. We've got a Ghastly, Diglett, Charmander, Ball, Fire Energy, Metapod, Professor Oak's Hint, Brock's Grit, Reverse Haunter, and a Mega Charizard EX. There we go. Last pack magic coming through for us. Mega Charizard EX. No, it's not the full art, but I will definitely take that nonetheless. So, uh, you guys can still, of course, vote. Uh, there will be a pull in the iCard in a second here. Uh, well, if you click the iCard, it will be there. It might not pop up right away, but um, I'll show you guys the final recap here, though. Grab a decent looking Venusaur pack art there. So, uh, for the Venusaur pack art, we got one secret rare, two reverse rares, are normally hollow rares. We got a hollow rare Machamp, a Machamp Break, a Pidgeot EX, a Mega Charizard EX, and a Misty's Determination Full Art. Now, if y'all know my vote, it's gonna be Venusaur, uh, the Mega Venusaur pack art. Because uh, it gave us what I think might be our two best pulls are right there in the Mega Charizard and the Misty Determination. Uh, but maybe you're going to downgrade the Venusaur set. Alto extra packs. I'll give me a 10 packs of Mega Venusaur pack art, 8 of Charizard, and 9 of the other two. So uh, maybe you're going to downgrade Venusaur and think it wasn't good enough for 10 packs. And maybe you'll give it to Blastoise or Raichu. But uh, click the ad card. Uh, vote in the poll, let me know and everyone else know what you think uh, the pack art in this video that got the best polls was in today's Thursday Throwdown. So that is all for today then. Please subscribe, rock smash that like button, visit our website, thepokecapital.com. Join us tomorrow for Foreign Friday in Pokemon Box Daily and later today at 6 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash thepokecapital for a PTCGO live stream. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for some more Pokemon goodness.